Timothy Richard and Adam Silverlight for the people. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Judge. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Morata. Good afternoon, Mr. Silverlight. Mr. Richard Mario Bellucci on behalf of Mr. Camerata, who's present live in your court. After another two days, that hope was crushed. The lifeless, severely burned body that was discovered in the storage unit was that of Janine, my one and only sister. My family's life has forever changed. Janine's three kids are still learning to live without their mother. One of which who had just turned three years old at the time, two months prior, as he was too young to remember her. Though they have pictures and reminders of her, it is not the same as an actual hug or kiss from their mom. I still do not know how to console our grieving mother, who has already been suffering from depression. She doesn't like to go out anymore, work, or talk much. My two kids will never remember their Aunt Jenny because they were so young the last time they saw her. My son was only one and a half and my daughter was three. And now they will never get the chance to know her. As for me, I still have to remind myself that she is gone. I am forced to accept the fact that we cannot grow old together and I will never receive a phone call, text message, or visit from her again. I can only see pictures of her, memories, and see her in my dreams. At those points, I say to myself, wow, she's really gone. And all I can do is carry her spirit in my heart. It's in the disgraceful, cowardly, and violent act of two fools to cause all this pain and suffering. They only thought of themselves and did not care about this beautiful woman. They took away a mother, daughter, sister, friend, and teacher. Everything they did from the moment they entered her car till they were arrested was absolutely horrendous. Jean was certainly one of a kind and did not deserve any of this. It was unnecessary to say the least. I do not know how they sleep at night, but the thought of them being locked away in prison for the rest of their lives will help me sleep a little bit better. They cannot hurt anyone else anymore. Regarding the children, it scares me as they grow up how they will learn to process this terrible loss as time goes on. And just a note on my mom, she is currently back at Jamaica Hospital in the psych ward for going on three weeks now. And due to that, she could not be here today, but she wanted to thank you for presiding over the case. Thank you. Thank you. I am sorry for everything that happened. Um, I am sorry for Jack, for her, Catherine, Joey, um, Christine's uh, kids, because it's true, they will never know Jeanine the way I knew her. Um, to, to my family, um, my sister is going through a lot raising my two kids and I should be the one doing that. Um, and I am sorry that she has to be put in that situation. Um, you know, uh, the prosecutor says I don't show remorse, but I am sorry. It, it's a horrible thing that I was involved with. And I'm sorry that it happened. I really am. Um, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think about Janine. There aren't enough words in the thesaurus to describe what you did and your reaction to it. What you said and how you said it. The blameless, as you're trying to contend today, is not one of them. You showed no emotion. You were devoid of sorrow, devoid of any remorse or regret. Inexcusable, cold, calculated, chilling, cowardly, disgusting, despicable, cruel, and heartless. So the same way you decided Janine's fate, now I have to decide yours. You asked me in a letter for a just and fair sentence. And several times you asked me to be able to start your sentence and go upstate. So now today, I will gladly accommodate you for all your wishes. Accordingly, on your conviction of murder in the second degree for the killing of Janine Camerata, your sentence is an indeterminate sentence of 23 years to life. 
on your conviction for the E felony of concealment of a human corpse, your sentence is an indeterminate sentence of one and a third to four years in prison. I direct that this sentence run consecutively to the sentence on murder in the second degree. On your conviction of tampering with physical evidence for the body of Janine Camerata, an E felony, your sentence is an indeterminate sentence of one and a third to four years in prison. This sentence is to run consecutively to the sentence on the murder charge and the sentence on the concealment of a human corpse. On your conviction for tampering with official letter charge. <laughs> Thank everybody for their submission and their work throughout the project.